Hello and welcome to Have Guitar. I hope you are doing great as always. This is an unboxing video of a new guitar, uh, and you should know what it is right now. It's a Gibson Explorer Tribute 2019 model. Wee hoo! Well, you know, I had promised myself not to buy any new equipment whatsoever, uh, and I've resisted acoustic guitars, 12 string acoustic guitars, electric guitars that I've been really keen on getting. Uh, and then when Gibson came out with the new uh, 2019 lineup, woo I think there were quite a few uh, of those models that looked really nice, even though the prices of some of them might have been out of this world, a little bit too high for my taste and my wallet. Uh, but anyway, then I got to see that uh, Explorer 2019 tribute model, which to me looks not at all the same, but slightly similar to that very nice Gibson custom uh, shop range of black uh, guitars with gold hardware, uh, which I was really, really into when they came a while back. But when I saw the prices, I quickly backed out because they were just way ahead. And Andertons, as you can see, Andertons, they had the tribute model in stock so I just couldn't tell myself I ordered one and I'm not gonna talk too long I'll put uh, the timestamp up here somewhere when I start opening that pack because I have a smaller pack from Toman with stuff to go with the with the Gibson Explorer and I'll open that first all right all right also of course I stumbled upon a thread on, on some Facebook group the other day everything guitar or something the guy who had ordered uh, a new Gibson SG 2018 which came in a really appalling condition and of course in one go there was 20 people who wrote that Anderton sucks everything I bought from, the, from them I had to return now I have no uh, reason to talk crap about the undertones because I've never ordered anything from them but it will be interesting to see there were complaints about setups the condition uh, boxes that have been smashed which probably probably isn't Anderton's fault but uh, never mind uh, let's hope for the best so from Toman I ordered something I've been looking at this before uh, for, uh, for a long time because uh, this is a Harley Benton TS clone more or less and uh, I've heard some really good things from people about this pedal uh, and when I say people I mean people that I respect as uh, musicians it's the vintage overdrive it's not very expensive it costs around 33 euros I'll print that in dollars on screen as well it looks kind of uh, toyish, but I can tell you it, it has a metal casing and it's said to be really good for that price. And I don't have a TS clone before, so I, of course I have to try it out. Uh, so that's not specifically for the Gibson guitar, but uh, did you get anything more? You only got a little... Uh, what did you get? You got a little paper that says something in German. I might have... To bring this to my job because I have a friend there who speaks German because he is from Germany. Well, he's in English as well. Well, uh, doesn't say much more than thank you for buying this from us. And I also got me a new, a new um, strap, guitar strap, because. I think I still have some of those cheap Chinese uh, straps, uh, but I wanted something that would go nice with a black Explorer, and uh, I don't know, I just figured this would look nice on an Explorer, right? I hope so. Uh, I don't remember the brand, I think it might be Minotaur. Yeah, it's a Minotaur belt. The, the brand is Minotaur, or Minotaur, how do you pronounce that? Why is that blinking? So now for the fun part, let's uh, unbox this Gibson Explorer 2019 preview. Uh, it's a really exciting view, isn't it? 
So I'm sorry for that, I can keep talking. Uh, the Gibson Explorer has always been one of my favorite uh, guitar models. I loved it since I saw his Freely in 75, even though it was an Ibanez Destroyer he was playing, I think. One clip later, and here we are. Um, let's see where I put the knife. That's already open, so maybe I should go in here. And uh, I think it comes in a soft case. It does. And it looks like a really ugly soft case. If I should be frank, and I guess I should. And let's see if I can. Now it's out of the box and I'm almost out of the picture. So uh, no goodies for me in this one. Pure Gibson, well I certainly hope so. Okay, so what did I tell you? I said it's a really ugly soft case. Soft cases are seldom pretty but uh, have a look at this one. <laughs> I'm sorry to say but it's, it's not pretty. Let, let's check out what's in the front pocket. It seems like there is something here. There is. Gibson, we sweat the deals. No, we sweat the details. Sweat the deals. Uh, well, it's a quality checklist. It's also a... Just like when I got my um, SG. It's a picture of my guitar when it was quality tested, I guess. That's what I'm guessing. And uh, I can just say this about soft cases that I really don't have a habit of buying guitars that comes in in soft cases because I think that a quality guitar should come in a hard case. A hard case could be pretty good without costing a lot of money. Uh, so I think it's kind of cheap from the guitar manufacturers not to include hard cases. Of course, I can understand it for uh, like a $300 guitar or something like that. But uh, I mean, this what did I pay for this guitar? I paid around 1300 euros. I'll print the exact prices somewhere up here or up there. Uh, you can check for yourself. Uh, it was a decent price, even for a tribute model. Um, oh well, wait, hold on. There's more. <laughs> a mystical black box. Well, it's not really a box, but I can see. I think it's the. It's a couple of tools, hex key, and probably a, a guitar manual. Should I open this now? I can open it now. It is. Only a Gibson is good enough. Good enough. Uh, give some gold warranty, please fill out and return. Thank you, I will maybe do that. Could you stay in place, please? It is... What is it? Gibson Owner's Manual. I guess that contains the general information, body, the neck and head, stock, pickups, control, bridge, tailpiece, care and maintenance about Gibson and your guitar. Uh, yeah, and then it's, yeah, Ooh. crap, uh, well it's one of those to adjust the neck and uh, it's a, a hex key. There's something more, the good is never end. Just like with the SG, you get a little nice rag with the Gibson logo, Gibson USA, to clean up your guitar or your strings or wherever you want to use it. Very nice, works very well with glasses as well. So that's a good thing. That's a bonus when you go out and buy a really expensive Gibson guitar, I would say. If you notice that my voice is slightly rough, it's because I had a gig with my uh, new band this Saturday and the gig was replaced by a big party or it was kind of ongoing at the same time and I drank 
way too much whiskey and my throat is still punishing me for that. Uh, we got a um, guitar strap which I will most likely not use. I have one from Fender as well. Not particularly happy about those and that's it. Now you're screaming in, in anticipation. Why don't you open and show us the bleeping guitar? Well, I am about. It's an unboxing video, for God's sake. Woo. Well, now I've seen it and you haven't. Let's get it out. A little bit of dust. Want me to show you the guitar? I guess you do, because this is an unboxing video, so why shouldn't I? Uh, it's ebony, kind of matte finish. Almost in tune as well. I gotta tune it, of course. Really nice. It's a, I mean, it's a really simple model. Uh, it could be a lot more fancy, and it's kind of lightweight as well. Can't wait to play it and see how it sounds. So I think I'm going to include a little sound sample in this video, uh, but for a, for a bigger, you know, review, you'll just have to wait. It's still a plastic on the pickup guard. It's dirty fingers, pickups, which should be kind of cool. I'm gonna give you a little sound example. I applied for my Boss Katana. All right, so I've hooked up uh, the Explorer to my Boss Katana. You'll get the sound in the room um, because this is just a quick uh, run through. The sound is something which I've set up. Uh, it's one of the sneaky amps in the Katana. I think it's a uh, Mesa Boogie something. Uh, it's a sound that I've designed for my ESP uh, and the ESP has Simulankan 59, this has Dirty Fingers Plus. I think it's a little bit more... Um, I think the output from the Simulankan 59 is a little bit more hot than <laughs> the Dirty Fingers. Anyway, this is how the Explorer sounds, straight out of the box. <laughs> Explorers before and just I mean I haven't even played 10 minutes on it yet but it's really easy to play I don't think the setup from Mandatons doesn't leave much to to wish for really it seems fine to me so far uh, gotta check out all the details of course but uh, that was the unboxing of the Gibson Explorer Tribute 2019 uh, not sure exactly how long this video will be not overly long I guess trying to show you all the angles and uh, stuff from the guitar and uh, so you get a good look at that and I'm looking at the preview screen rather into the camera maybe I shouldn't be doing that um, you can look forward to a review about maybe in a month or so uh, from this guitar uh, here on Have Guitar of course and uh, hope you liked this unboxing video uh, if you did please do subscribe uh, I'll be a appreciative for that forever if you do uh, for supporting my little guitar channel here at YouTube and uh, well let's not be long about this thanks ever so much for watching have guitar stay clean and play really hard until I see you next time goodbye <laughs>